Welcome to our tutorial, how to use R for research. In this session, we teach you advanced on animated graphs in R programming. Data sets that we use in today's session, available in these links. The first one, Airborne Plane Annual CSV. The second one, Land Use Land Cover Changes CSV. The third one, Climate Variables CSV. In this session, we use a list of packages. These packages should be installed. After that, we call these libraries. One of the main packages is ggplot. We use it for creating advanced graphs. And we use gganimate to animate figures. The first type of figure, we create timeline at the beginning by using air quality data. We change month in the air quality to factor stack. Then we create a timeline, we name it just P, ggplot. Air quality, A is day and wind. The group equal month, color equal month. The style is zoom underscore line, then geom point, theme underscore bw for choosing the type of background, labs, xlab and ylab, and legend position. That's timeline. Then we animate it by using transition re underscore reveal function in ggAnimate package. And we use day transition reveal by day it takes some times around 15 seconds to be ready that's the output animated timeline let's convert the wide to long data frame df long equal gather d f station rain kushtapa to shorsh stations After that, let's create graph. Then using transition reveal by year. We select the height and width of the figure. We can save the animated figure as a GIF format by using anim underscore save function then the name which is we give to this graph for example a name precipitation airbrick new dot give we open climatic variables data we name it df after that create in geom call that's the figure now we give it animation by using transition time by month That's the output. It will change in by the month. After that, we going to create a box plot at the beginning, then we'll change it to animation. Here we're using geom underscore box plot. That's the box plot without animation. After that, we use transition underscore time by month. Then violin type of figure. We name it P1 and the function is geom underscore violin in ggplot2. Then we use transition underscore status function to give it animation. After that we have Gta plot. And we use transition underscore time by month to give animation to Gta plot. Then we have geom count. Let's open this data and use geom 
count function in ggplot2 to create the graph. The graph we name it p1. Then we use transition underscore time by month to give it animation. After that, we have multiple area animated scatter plot. We use transition time by month to animate the graph. In the same way, we have scatter plot. At the beginning, using geom underscore point function to create the graph. Then we're using transition time by month to change it to animation. FPS equal to, that's the speed of animation. In the same way, we can create map using geom underscore sf function. We name it gg. Then we use transition underscore manual function to animate the map. After that, we have bin hex. We transit it by time. And we have dot plot function using geom underscore dot plot, geom segment using geom segment function. Finally, we create a pie chart. That's the pie chart without animation. Then we use transition time function by year. Take some seconds to be ready. That's our animated pie chart which is changing by the year. As we can see in the pie chart, bare soil will be decreasing and build up in green will be increasing. That's the end of this session. Animated graphs in our programming.